A suspected killer taking the stand today in Branch County denying that he killed his wife. His son takes the stand to tell the jury what he heard. This is the trial of the murder of Union City teacher Dee Dee Foley. 24 Hour News 8's Jessica Leffler was in court as well today. Jess? Friend, it was a really intense day in court, and the court, the trial's been ongoing since November 10th in the small town of Coldwater, on edge since it began. A big day today as the dead woman's husband and son both testified, the husband insisting on his in innocence. At issue, a loud noise from inside of the Foley home the day Dee Dee Foley died. Police believe that sound was a gun going off, but Tom Foley says that's not the case. You know, I broke a window outside, and and then he went on to say, police apparently think that it was a gunshot. And that's not true. Dee Dee Foley, a teacher at Union City Schools, investigators are accusing Tom of shooting her once in the head with a 12-gauge shotgun. Tom, on the stand, shared his initial reaction when he was told his wife was shot. I was upset and I said okay and I was just trying to register in my head what he was telling me and I mean there would have been no reason for her to, <coughs> for that to occur. A private detective also testified today for the defense. 24 Hour News 8 caught up with Foley's defense attorney outside of the courtroom and he shares his take on today's testimony. The uh, hard evidence that they have to have to accomplish beyond a reasonable doubt is non-existent. And as a result of that, we have been listening to uh, hearsay. We've been listening to feelings. Schaefer says they're looking forward to the close of this trial because he believes his client is wrongly accused. Tom is uh, having an awful time. He's had an awful time for nine months. He's been separated from his uh, wife and son uh, for almost nine months. Uh, he has devoted to his son, has been devoted to this family, and uh, I think it's a travesty that he's been sitting there for this time period. The prosecution believes they have their man and that Tom Foley is a killer. However, they declined to comment to us today on camera. Closing arguments are expected to wrap up tomorrow, and what's next is up to a jury. Brian? Thank you, Jess.